Okay, I'm using a TechSmith screen capture here, and uh, it only records in one speaker. So, I mean, that's probably because it's free, but if you guys don't, if that bothers you, that's your fucking problem. I don't care. I would open my Audacity, but I just don't feel like it. Okay, so what I wanted to do here is focus on my one reply, which is what the, the main reason I'm uploading this video, or I've uploaded this video. Yes, people agree to them, but that's only because only such sites are available. I would try to start a website myself, but one, I've tried contacting five website development companies and they all denied my service, or denied me service. And two, even if I did, and allowed all speech except death threats and doxing, I'm sure nobody would sign up to my site. And that's what I want to emphasize. Nobody would. If I created another site, say, well, my vision would be something similar to what YouTube originally was, if anybody remember, or if anybody was uh, there when that during during those years, um, and what I mean about uh, accept death threats and doxing, I mean any kind of speech that endangers somebody personally. That shouldn't. That's abuse of free speech, and that's my philosophy on that. Freedom of speech should. I need freedom of speech to happen because I need to know what other people other people are thinking. And I can only do that if I read and hear what they have to say so I get an idea of what their mentality is so I can break that shit down. There's freedom of speech and then there's abuse of it. And that abuse of it is what, is is what I've just explained. And I also want to add that I have two audiobooks recorded and people just ignore my every promotion. Something I've been doing for nearly a year now. And mainly because you people are a bunch of fucking cocksuckers. I mean all people want to do is argue with the religious and political ideologues knowing they don't want to listen knowing they won't listen because anything that goes against their bilious they ignore and argue against no you guys are the fucking assholes you guys are in defense of censorship while you're trying to argue that um, it's not censorship because it's privately owned site TOS blah 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 and the other guy saying that graffiti you know a bunch of straw man arguments in favor of censorship while the reality is that uh, the TOS themselves are the forms of censorship you know I mean they're shutting down they're, not, they're telling you what you're not allowed to say and it doesn't matter if they're privately owned they're still censoring you so with all that said I mean uh, yeah I mean there are a lot of social media platforms out there. None of them are really like YouTube, but they'll have terms of service. And all those terms of service are censorship because they're bullshit rules. And, well, I'll get to that in a minute. So what I'm going to do now is just go over all the this comment and all the replies that are in this thread. And, uh, by the way, this thing is about uh, Pastor Greg Locke's banning from, uh, being banned from Twitter. Like him, every other conservative agrees to Twitter, Twitter's TOS. Break, those, break their rules, you'll get banned. Yet conservatives will cry victim when that happens. Private or not, it's still censorship. That's my reply, and that's what started this whole thing. Senior Peppa, if I pronounce, I don't give a shit if I didn't, if I mispronounced that, chimes in with some sarcasm here. You are so right. Just like when the city cleans graffiti and smut off the wall, it's censorship. Now going back, going down to what I said to him. Straw man. Graffiti is both vandalism and an immature expression of whatever. Graffiti is not intended to, or done to start, start discussion. Now, graffiti on an uh, internet social media platform would be, I guess, uh, spam. And the reality is, I mean, people who do graffiti know it's wrong and they're sneaky about it. So that's not, that's not a valid argument. You know, I mean, again, they're not trying to start discussion with anybody. They're just trying to be jerks. So, I don't know, it's, it's a bullshit argument. Jayhawk, you were a moron. This is the guy I was responding with, which is what I opened the video with. Freedom of speech protects one from the government censorship. 
Now, if he's referring to the amendment, that would mean that amendment is insufficient because no matter where you are, if some, like, no matter what the status of that, of your, wherever you are, if, like, if you're in a privately owned site, you're still being censored if that privately owned business is shutting you down. Now, social media is intended. Now, I don't care how crazy the speech is. Uh, you're still being banned for it unless you're causing potential harm to somebody personally, which would be abuse of freedom of speech. If a privately owned site has uh, uh, their stupid TOS, that only means they're sensitive snowflakes and they don't belong on the fucking internet. That's all that means. It doesn't matter if they're privately owned or not. It's still censorship. And if they agree to their posting rules and then violate them, one, it's only because there are so many out there, uh, all of these, like, there are no, there obviously aren't any political, or social media platforms that don't have any stupid TOS, bullshit TOS. That's all the fucking means. And as I said before, I tried to, I would try to open my own site, but, well, I'll get to that later, but, uh, you write like a band. I mean, I'm not disagreeing with this. I'm saying it's not an it's an it's a uh, straw man argument, for the reason I just explained. Being a beggar, no, it's not. It's called enforcement of terms of service. Now going back to where where's that? Um, yeah, which would mean those TOS are nonsense, and that the enforcement of them is censorship. Again, another bullshit argument. Okay. Heavy guy, literally 1984. So my god. Okay, I told this guy to explain. I've already debunked the private own private ownership and TOS arguments. I'll get to the, I'll get to him later. Well, I'm gonna go over all these. So. Cal L. No, it isn't. Uh, I just love how these people give themselves a one. A thumb up too. That's just so pathetic. You don't see me doing that. This guy got another one, but who knows? Doesn't mean he's right though. <laughs> so um, okay, going past that, um, Jayhawk again. Censorship applies to the government. You're more right to it. I didn't say. I didn't explain. Well. This was, uh, it says one day ago, but I think it was more like three days ago. Um, I didn't say a lot of what I'm saying today because I intended to do this video. I just didn't got to it till today because I've been fucking busy. But yeah, I already took that down. What part of TOS don't you grasp? You agree to the rules before you're allowed to post. When did I say otherwise, Jayhawk? When did I say that people don't agree and they don't? You know, obviously, I'm not arguing that. All I said was that there's censorship. You guys and your fucking straw man arguments. So when you violate them, they have every right to boot you. If you don't know how to develop the platform and don't know how to host it, that's nobody's fault but your own. Crack a book. Now, the problem here is, and I told him, well... There it is right there. Um, if you don't know how to develop a platform, yeah. Did I say I couldn't learn? I said that I tried contacting web companies and they refused to, refused me their service. Really? What the fuck? I mean, I have been learning HTML and I've been relying on video tutorials here on YouTube, but unfortunately I had a snag because I tried, I started getting getting into the back-end stuff and a lot of that information just isn't available so yes I am obviously going to crack a book but I never said anything about learning it I said I was trying to get a, a company to try and create one for me you are an asshole Jayhawk you completely ignored that you know another straw man I also said that even if I did create a website, very few people, if any, would sign up because you're all dumbasses. Uh, yeah, then he says, go on to post a 
I don't know what Jason I don't know who Jason Miller is but um, Jayhawk also said I'm a right wing cocoon and that I support Donald Trump and praise him when did I say I'm right wing or that I support Donald I never said anything about politics okay so uh, I told heavy guy just to refute what I said if, if I'm wrong instead of insulting me and I call him a loser and uh, some people might say that's an insult and uh, it's not an ins it's only an insult when the, when the comment is uh, without reason it's just uh, you know yeah heavy guy uh, you called deep platforming fascism if that isn't a self obvious own I don't know what it is you just don't explain how though right heavy guy you just say it is now granted uh, I've said a lot more on this video than I ha than I did in any, any of the replies but you still haven't explained to me how that's fascism how is company being privately owned the opposite of fascism explain how TOS on certain uh, speech is not fascism if you're not allowed to speak if you're not allowed to say something then what is that if it's not fascism if, or if it's not censorship explain that to me It's censorship, period. You're the one who favors these pathetic TOS. Okay, uh, the last one here. They are allowed to ban you if you break the terms of service, yes? When did I say otherwise? You do not have the right or entitlement to break the rules or common sense. Did I say otherwise? Did I say anything about rights? Did I say anything about breaking rules or common sense? What does that mean? Common what? You do not have the right or entitlement to break rules or common sense. I don't know. I wholly agree with banning ev evangelicals, Christians, and Republicans in the majority of classes. Well, then you're a fascist asshole. Because that's not right. Not only that, but it's not solving anything. You're not changing anybody's mind, but by banning them all you're doing is giving them uh, your the ammunition to play victim which is what they fucking do it's what they're about because they don't have anything neither do you congratulations on being a complete cocksucker you lot really like to act like being an asshole and vile is acceptable okay calling calling that fascism is is exhibit a of the persecution comics the what <laughs> none of this made any fucking sense but anyway I made my points I'll close this now it's I didn't intend this to be 15 minutes but well whatever it is what it fucking is and I wouldn't have had to upload this video if you guys weren't such a fucking dipshits. That's all I can say about it.